close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And focus on the sensation of the breathing. Where do you feel the breathing in the body right now? Focus your attention there. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try more shallow breathing, quicker breathing, heavier, lighter, faster, shorter. Try to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. You want the mind to get anchored here in the present moment, and the breath is a good place to stay anchored. One, because there is no such thing as a future breath or a past breath that you can watch. If you're with the breath, you know you're in the present. And two, the breath is something you can adjust, so you can be here comfortably, because there's work to do. The mind has its ailments. It has greed, aversion, and delusion, thoughts that go out of control. You think that if it's your mind, it would do what you want. But oftentimes you make up your mind, you're going to think about one thing, and you suddenly find yourself thinking about something else. Or you start thinking about something that looks good, and then it turns on you. Like an animal that you feed, and then it turns around and bites you. So you want to get some control over your thoughts. And a good way to do that is to be here in the present moment so you can watch them as they arise. Because when they first arise, they come in little little forms, like little seeds of thoughts. And if you can see a seed and you realize, okay, this is a bad seed, you can squash it. If it's a good seed, then you can nurture it. So try to stay right here, because this is good work to be doing. If you don't do this work, then when greed, aversion, and delusion take over the mind, then they take over your actions. Then you start acting on them and living with the results of those unskillful actions. And there's really nobody else to blame. Somebody may have incited your anger or incited your greed, or talked to you in ways that make you deluded. But it's up to you to decide, do I want to take on those influences or not? And again, if you're not here while the influences are coming in, if you're off someplace else or not really paying attention, all kinds of things can slip into the mind. So you want to be fully present right here. This is good work to be doing, because you're straightening out your own life. You're taking responsibility for an area that you have sole responsibility for, the actions that come from the intentions in your mind, which intentions you're going to go with, which intentions you're going to say no to. You're totally free to make those decisions. It's just the problem is that if you're not fully present right here, you don't really know what's going on, or you get only half an idea of what's going on. And that way your thoughts learn how to lie to you. They pre present a good impression, a good first impression. But if you don't look carefully, you don't know what's behind that first impression. So here's a chance to look carefully at what's going on in your mind. Take responsibility for the area where you really are responsible. We live in this world with so much information and misinformation. Sometimes it's hard to decide what to do outside, but inside you can learn how to look at your mind and read. Okay, when is the mind telling you the truth and when is it lying to you? And you can learn what to do to stay away from the lies, to go with the truth, especially when the truth is telling you something really good that you should be doing or something bad that you should be abandoning. That way you find that you can trust the mind more and more because you've trained it. As a well-trained mind brings happiness. We can live in this world with lots of good things, but if the mind isn't trained, we can turn those good things into bad. But a well-trained mind can take even bad situations and turn them into something good. So look after your mind, because it's your most important possession. It's the most important thing, deciding what's going to happen to your life. So you want to make sure that it's well-trained. <laughs>